Here we go with another record video. And this one's gonna start out with the amino acids. And I went to the little record store the other day, actually yesterday, and I got my amino acids records um, autographed because the dude that owns the record store about 15 miles away from me is, the, I guess, the main dude in the amino acids. So he autographed, his name is Angry Larry, um, and it's a Praise Bob type thing. I guess Bob is a, um, a slacker's religion type thing where they just believe in... Um, uh, I don't know, it, it's kind of like if Bender from Futurama started a religion. Anyway, um, there it is. He autographed it. The seven inch theme from the slack hole. And he autographed this one, which is humanity will fall like pins. And what he wrote on there, I won't repeat because, like I said, it's it's as if Bender from Futurama autographed your records. All right. Now, this record, they re-released it so that they could get some money together to put out on vinyl their other full length, that is CD only, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, so they put this thing out, which is a repressing of what I just showed you. And this is 23 of 42. And it's the same album as this. Even the vinyl's the same, but it's packaged a lot differently, as you can see. And he didn't autograph this one, and I don't know why. I guess just didn't think about it. Anyway. I will be going to see the Amino Acids at Smalls in Hamtramck, Michigan. He said sometime in January, so get ready for that video. All right, now let me show you what was inside this Amino Acids repressing. This manila envelope. And don't know what that writing means. And this is some kind of a little manifesto for the Bob religion, or the slackers religion. I guess it's a religion for people who don't want to do anything. Again, it's like Bender's religion. I haven't read this yet, but it's called the Amino Acids, Who's Alien? Um, it starts out, why, I ask, those faces, those masks, they're just too creepy. I felt like telling her, lady, imagine what's behind it. It's far uglier than you could ever imagine. So, that should be some good reading. Where's the little paper clip? And there's more little bits to this repressing of humanity will fall like pins. Oh, and by the way, he only had one of these to sell me, and I almost didn't get him to sell me this one because this came out on Record Store Day, and this is one of the copies that's reserved for band members because I showed up yesterday, and yesterday wasn't Record Store Day, and since there were only 42 of these made, I missed out on them. But I got to talking to him, and he finally, well, since I brought these in to autograph, I, I guess he thought I was a a fan worthy of one of the band members copies so this is one of the band members copies okay it also came with this great little amino acid sticker and if you haven't heard the amino acids check them out it's like thrashy surf punk type stuff from fabulous Michigan and this also came with it and this is a I guess a parody of the little advertisements that would be in comic books in the 60s. 
And then these tiny little things, one of them advertises um, to go bowling. And this one advertises wanted somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. P.O. Box 322 Oak View, California. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety not guaranteed. I have only done this once before. So that's kind of funny. Um, from Oakville, California. And here is the vinyl, which this record is exactly like the record from before. And again, there are no new songs. Just the same record that I took in there to get autographed. All right. But since it was a record store, I had to pick up some other stuff. And I picked up this for 99 cents. Bam! Will success spoil Mrs. Miller? And this has got um, great songs on it. Strangers in the Night, Groovy Kind of Love, um, Girl from Ipanema, um, Yellow Submarine, Every Little Movement, Monday Monday, but the standout song on this, the song that makes this a must-have is Sweet Pea. Her version of Sweet Pea is just the greatest. I've never heard the original of Sweet Pea, and I don't want to. I only want to hear Miss Miller sing it. Alrighty. I also found this. This was not 99 cents or a dollar. This was $25. And I thought about this probably for five over five minutes I just stared at this thing and I think the reason why it was $25 is because the vinyl is in immaculate condition it's from 1975 and it's the original motion picture soundtrack to King Kong um, with a recognition on the back by Ray Bradbury and this is one of the best music scores ever for a film and this is the music and all of it that's in the movie except for um, the intermission and the music before. I guess like the prelude or something. It, that, that's not on here. Um, I wish this would have been a double LP and they would have thrown that music on too. Anyway, everything else is on here and... Like I said, the cover's not in perfect condition, but the vinyl sure is. So if you're a big fan of King Kong 1933, um, you might want to seek this thing out. And I hope you get it for a better price than what I did. But wow, that vinyl's in good condition. It's like brand new. Okay. I got a brand new Ultrabide record. And this is not it. This is just an Ultrabide record that is okay. It's not bad. They're kind of like No Means No, um, Melt Banana, and Melvin's all mixed together. And that's what Ultrabite sounds like. And they're not a band anymore, and that's really too bad. But this is the Ultrabite record that I just picked up. This is God is God, Puke is Puke. And this one's really good. Just an insane, noisy, yet rhythmic ride brought to you by Jello Biafra. And yeah, this is a Jello Biafra type situation too. And there's nothing in this that's worth showing. Um, anyway, if you're into No Means No, or Melt Banana, or the Melvins, this will satisfy. And here's the other Ultra Vibe record I have, DNA versus DNA minus C. This thing is really, really good. It's better than this. I don't know how they did it, but they improved on God is God, puke is puke with this thing. This thing is out of sight. One of um, the most impressive records I've ever heard from Alternative Tentacles is this baby. 
So check out Ultrabide if you're into wild stuff. All right, now I'm going to show a record that I already have. <coughs> Excuse me, but Tony, my friend in Arizona, didn't know that, so he sent me another copy of it, and it's the Seven Seconds to the Crew, and it's just like the one I have, except for the vinyl. The vinyl is different. The one I have is just red, you know, kind of like this. This one is um, red with black swirl. I don't know if you can see that, probably can't, it probably just looks black to you, but it is um, red with black swirl. And there's a song on this record called Red and Black, so this final copy goes right along with it. Thanks, Tony Collins. Having both of them is well worth it. I probably would have bought this one anyway, so thanks for getting it for me. Okay, now we're going to get into the um, black metal. Yeah, death metal, black metal, I'm not sure what the difference is. Anyway, this is the new release from Mayhem, or the, the true Mayhem. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is called the True Mayhem. I guess there's two Mayhems. And this is kind of, well, the side one sounds like Cradle of Filth, just like no nonsense Cradle of Filth, no fancy stuff, um, just straightforward black metal. Um, when I recorded it, I sped it up. Sounds much better if you speed it up. And here's the vinyl. And this record is called um, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is called. There's a reason I bought this. I usually don't buy records like this. But, I mean, I have some. And if a band I go to see in Hamtramck or down in Detroit has some for sale, you know, I'll buy some, you know, like Nun Slaughter or um, Watain. You know, if, if, if a black metal band looks like they'll be fun to go see, you know, I'll go see them and, and dig the show and buy some merch from them. Anyway, oh, here it is. This is Black Disorder. Avatistic. Avavistic. Avavistic Black Disorder by The True Mayhem. All right, let's get into why this record is in my collection. And here's the reason. On side two, they do cover versions of punk rock songs. By The Ramones, Rudimentary Peni, The Dead Kennedys, and Discharge. Um, the Discharge song that they chose to cover is not one of the thrashy um, hardcore punk rock discharge songs it's one of the latter ones so that's not really impressive um, the version of hell nation off of the frankenchrist record by the dead kennedys is pretty entertaining to listen to um, only death by rudimentary peni which that's a latter rudimentary peni song not the death church or the eps of rp period um, not even the cacophony period or the Pope period, but, you know, I guess early 2000s. And that's not bad. It's really entertaining. Their version of Commando by the Ramones is out of sight. Very impressive. So if you see this mayhem record with um, a snake and, and some faces, and the back shows a punk rock guy. Definitely pick it up. Just for their um, version of Commando by the Ramones and the Rudimentary P9 and the Dead Kennedys. All right, we're getting to the end of this business here. This is a record I um, ordered. This is Anti-Flag 17 song demo. And I guess this is the first thing Anti-Flag ever did. 
and it was a cassette. And this is really good. It's all over the place. It goes from like regular anti-flag type songs to songs that sound like a death metal band to songs that sound like the butthole surfers, um, just to weird stuff. Um, the song, let's see, I, um, <laughs> there's a lot of songs on here. Um, the Jesus song. I'm not seeing. Oh yeah, song for Jesus Christ. Uh, that's worth the purchase of this anti-flag 17th song demo. That is the weirdest, craziest little 40 seconds you'll ever hear. So if you're not into anti-flag because you've heard their recent stuff, um, don't think that this sounds like that. This 17 song demo sounds very different. More thrashy punk rock. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little contest and mine is gonna be different. You're not gonna have to make a video or anything like that. But what you're gonna have to do is know your Rodney Dangerfield. And here's another Rodney Dangerfield record. And in the comments below this video, post your favorite um, Rodney Dangerfield jokes. Hopefully you all have this record. It's really good. And so is this one. I don't get no respect. And whoever puts down the funniest Rodney Dangerfield joke, or, you know, the one that I think is the funniest, I will comment under that comment and you can send me, you can email me your address and I will mail you this brand new Tumor Circus CD. Tumor Circus is a collaboration with Jello Biafra, some guys from Grong Grong and Steel Pole Bathtub. And this is like um, Jello Biafra's attempt at being Nirvana and it's better than Nirvana because it's Jello Biafra's attempt at it and it's just messed up. Um, uh, the song Turn Off the Respirator, which I think goes on for like 15 minutes, um, is just wonderful. Anyway, this brand new CD can be yours if you post a Rodney Dangerfield joke in the comments below that I think is worthy of the best one. Okay, that's the end of this video. All right, anyway, this is definitely worth having, especially for free.